The Farm Access Foundation was one of the pioneers in HIV and AIDS treatment in Africa. Today they are dedicated to make health markets work for the poor. Farm Access initiated multiple health insurance programs in Africa with over 300,000 lives insured. In partnership with social venture CarePay and M-Pesa pioneer Safaricom, they set up the mobile platform Amtiba, which is Africa's first digital platform for inclusive healthcare. Amtiba directly connects patients, healthcare providers and payers such as insurers and exchanges money and data between them. Next on stage, Farm Access and our African partner, CarePay. I come from a continent where you really have to be innovative to survive. My name is Njiden Dili. I'm the country director of a Farm Access Foundation in Nigeria. And my, I'm here with uh, Case Van Laid, the CEO of Kepe. Okay. Now, together with our combined expertise in mobile, digital, and health insurance, we've developed a fully digital platform, health platform that can administer insurance on the mobile phone. I'm holding the phone because you know, it's become an extension of our bodies. And now, in Africa, it's really, really saving lives. Now, Farm Access Foundation has been working in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, since 2001. We support the rollout of private insurance and state-supported health insurance programs. And during the course of our implementation, we encountered three critical barriers which this platform is solving. First is inefficiency in administration. Inefficient administration leads to low payment, or even no payment at all in my case. Um, low quality of care, which we are trying to improve by cutting out multiple treatments, over treatment. And of course, what is key is the data. The data that we need on utilization so that we can improve product pricing. Now you have to ask, why Africa? Again, like I said, mobile is king. This is a continent where less than, in fact, in the areas where we cover, less than 10% of the population is covered by any kind of health insurance program. So this digital platform has been deployed in three countries, Nigeria, Tanzania, and Kenya. And I'll let uh, Case demonstrate the system uh, to show its benefits. Thank you, Angie Day. So indeed, uh, how did we start? Well, Angie already alluded to it. In, in Africa, mobile is king. It's king everywhere. But she was holding up a very nice iPhone X, I think. That's not the standard phone that people have in Africa. Actually, this is more the standard phone that still most of people have. Some of you may recognize it from your ancient digital past. People who know the game Snake will remember it. And we need to make a platform work also on these devices. So actually, the demo we're going to show you is therefore also videotaped, because this doesn't really work well when you're roaming on Vodafone DE. Um, what is really more interesting even is the growth of uh, mobile financial services in Africa. It's growing explosively. Our company, CarePay, was founded in Kenya. That's also where I live. And there, actually, the whole population can be reached not only by voice or SMS, but also through financial transactions. One of our core partners, Safaricom, which is part of the same Vodafone group that I already mentioned, uh, manages 1.7 billion financial transactions on a, day, uh, on a yearly basis in Kenya alone. And it's on top of that thriving mobile ecosystem that we have built a digital health platform, which we call CarePay. It enables public and private health insurers to reach uh, the, the uninsured, which are many of them, like NGD already alluded to. And we help them increase penetration across all income segments. The platform basically is an end-to-end -end solution from registration, enrollment, premium collection, claims handling, and also the payouts to providers. It's all done digitally, and almost everything is done mobile as well. We have about 1.4 million users at the platform, and we're actually growing by thousands and thousands of new users and new policies on a daily basis. So let me show you how it actually works. Um, first, in terms of registrations, we use several channels, but the most popular one is actually field agents. So we have field agents who do have a smartphone, and through an Android app, they basically collect all the key know your customer details. We also take surveys on economic and demographic uh, information, which really allows for a refined customer segmentation by insurers. We also take pictures like this one of our uh, colleague Alumide, uh, whose surname is Test for today. 
And um, we also take pictures, for example, of passports, birth certificates, and we upload it straight into the databases of our insurance partners. So the branch of the insurance company is coming to the people instead of asking the people to come to the branch. Now, once people are insured, they also need to access treatment. And here we again make the user and the mobile phone the central point of the, of the process. So as you can see, on this simple kind of device, our application works. A, a customer uh, checks in at the hospital. They say who is being treated of the family. And they give authority to the hospital, hospital to start the billing process. So it's the user who is in control. Now, creating a claim is also done digitally. We show it here on a tablo uh, tablet, but it also works on any desktop device. And basically, the provider sees the same patient walking in or getting into their workflow, and they add all the key treatment data to the digital claim form. It's all standardized. We use WHO coding where applicable, and we've created our own coding system for all the parts of the process that have no standard coding in Africa. So with the one touch of a, bu of a button, the claim arrives at the claim handler. And if they approve, actually the payment is done often within the same 24 hours. Uh, in the Amsterdam Medical Center that I normally go to when I'm back, uh, back at home, that takes them three months, I think, to get paid by insurance companies. Here we do it in the same day. Now, that same claims data can be used for many other interesting uh, purposes. For example, dashboards for our hospitals. So we make it very accessible and easy for them to see the same financial data in the kind of graphs and information that makes sense to them. But even more interestingly, there's a lot of innovation happening with that same claims data to improve the quality of care, like NGD was saying. A key issue, of course, in the African continent. So without having more data points being collected, we use the same data. We help doctors get much better insight in their patient uh, uh, cohorts. What are the most patients most at risk? Are protocols being followed in the actual treatment journey that these people are getting? So these are the kind of tools that we believe also become very relevant for insurance companies. Because finally, you may be able to actually get smart contracting between yourselves and providers on the, the outcome and the results of the treatment instead of just on the outputs. I'll leave it to NGDA to wrap it up. So um, you would ask, where are we now? Uh, cases mentioned already, we have over 10 um, about 1,000 healthcare facilities connected to our platform, but 1.4 million users. And this is just over a space of less than two years. Now, what I want to throw out are some numbers. The African continent has 1.2 billion people on it. The countries that we cover, or where we operate, has over uh, um, 140 million uh, um, uh, uh, people in it say, for example, Kenya and Tanzania, but Nigeria alone is 198 million people. And I always say I wasn't counted, nor were my four children or my husband, because they did not reach quite a number of places. So the point we're trying to make today is that Africa is a huge opportunity, and you can leverage on our platform to extend uh, your other insurance products, um, you can connect from anywhere else in the world. You can have data to you know, do better product pricing. But it's a fantastic journey that we're just embarking. We're revolutionizing the healthcare system while saving lives. So we're looking out for interested insurers that want to extend their footprints in Africa, that want to be, you know, take that challenge and take the risk to save millions of lives that are connected on our platform. Again, we'll be at our booth. And we look forward to uh, collaboration with any interested uh, insurance companies or investors. Thank you so much.